Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, if you get anything out of it, please share it, like it, comment, whatever. And uh, check me out on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Let's get into it. So, um, it's hot outside, like freaking hot, which is like four steps below as hot as it ever gets, I guess. But anyway, it's really hot. So, um, until we get some months that have R's in them back here, probably not going to be doing a lot of baking. It's going to be a bunch of quick, easy stuff that doesn't heat up the kitchen. And on that note, if you haven't built your house yet or you're fixing to build another house, please don't put the dining room right by the kitchen because nobody wants to eat in a hot dining room. And also, free note, put two dishwashers in because then you can just take dirty dishes out or clean dishes out of the dishwasher, use them and put them in the other one and run it. Blah, blah. It's just great. Just do that. So we're going to get into these no-bake cookies real quick. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm, I've only made it once and it turned out alright. Don't do that. And anyway, I've only done it once and it turned out great. So it's probably going to turn out horrible this time. But it's a stick of butter. I've got it cut up in here. I'm going to get that melt in here in just a second. And then a uh, half a cup of milk. And your dry ingredients are just three cups of old-fashioned oats. Don't get the instant oats that are like cut up and like what comes in a packet or anything. I don't think those will work. Two cups of sugar, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, a little bit of peanut butter, and some vanilla. I'll put all the amounts in the description down below. I'm going to get this melting and then we're going to get into mixing this together though. Melted here, went ahead and put about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and a half cup of milk. Going to pour that in here. And then just kind of keep this moving. Got a uh, quarter cup of cocoa powder. Get that good and incorporated there. And I'm going to go ahead and add all of my ingredients except for the oats. And what we're going to do is bring this up to a bowl, like a rapid boil. And uh, when it boils for one minute, we're going to take it off the heat and add our oats. Um, if you don't let it boil for long enough, they won't set up, and if you let it boil for too long, they'll set up before you can get them all spooned out. So I'm going to get this peanut butter incorporated, and then we will uh, make some cookies. And right at a minute, uh, maybe just a couple seconds less, I just killed the heat, and I'm going to dump in uh, three cups of oats and just stir them in really good. Um, I also have a, a pretty big spoon here. I just put a heaping spoon of peanut butter in. I didn't measure that or anything, but... That's what I did. And just get these good and coated. And as soon as everything gets coated, I've got some parchment paper laid out on my island over there. I'm just gonna spoon these out. All right, got these good and mixed up and we're just gonna spoon these out onto some parchment paper. And they're gonna need to sit for probably 20 minutes or so before they get good and hard. And hopefully they'll work. If not, you can just eat them with a spoon, I guess. But we'll come back and look at them here in a second and see how we did. Okay, it's been about an hour or so. These are pretty well set up. Um, I almost didn't get them set up or uh, cooked long enough. They're a little soft. But I just run a knife underneath them and they come loose of that parchment paper. Um, yeah, so these are basically health food. I mean, chocolate's a bean. Oatmeal's good for your heart. Peanut butter's got protein in it. Um, yeah, and I was almost, almost a doctor, so, yeah.